Hi, my name is Dr. Lindsay Zabritsky, and I'm a board-certified dermatologist. Today, we're going to talk about the difference between acne and rosacea. Very commonly, adults come into my office complaining of acne breakouts. They're very frustrated and say, I've never had acne in my life and I don't know what's going on. Why am I breaking out, doc? When in reality, they don't actually have acne at all. They have rosacea. So let's talk about the difference between the two. Acne and rosacea are both very, very common dermatological conditions that patients seek out treatment for. So the first difference is in the morphology. Those who have acne tend to have red zit-like pimples in addition to blackheads or whiteheads, which are called comedones, as well as deeper cysts and nodules. Those who have rosacea tend to have acne-like breakouts. So they typically have red papules or pustules located on their face, but they don't normally have blackheads, whiteheads, or cysts. The next difference between the two is the location. People with acne tend to get acne in oily T-zone areas, forehead, nose, cheeks, but very commonly around the jawline, as well as the neck, the chest, and the back. Common areas for rosacea breakouts are in the central part of the face, in between the eyebrows, the lower forehead, the nose, chin, and medial cheeks. People with acne tend to have very oily skin, again, very commonly in the T-zone area. So they'll have oily skin on the forehead, the nose, the chin, and the cheeks. People with rosacea, on the other hand, tend to not have oily skin. Instead, they're more predisposed to having larger pores, erythema, redness, and dilated blood vessels called telangiectasias. Another difference is that people with acne tend to have blemishes, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, as well as acne scars, like ice pick scars or rolling scars. People with rosacea do not have scarring. Instead, they have erythema or redness of the central face that can be permanent or it can wax and wane. People with rosacea tend to have very sensitive skin. Many products that they try to use tend to burn and sting on their skin, while those with acne do not suffer usually from sensitive skin. Rosacea is very commonly occurring in those who are adults. So it's something that they probably haven't had for a long time, but they notice when they're in their late 20s, 30s, 40s, or 50s. While those with acne can get acne at any point in their life, although it is way more common in the younger years as older children, teenagers, or young adults. However, there are many adults who tend to suffer from acne too, which is why it is important to see a board certified dermatologist to help differentiate between the two. Acne tends to affect people of all different skin colors and types. While rosacea can occur in any skin color, however, it is more common to occur in those of a Caucasian race. Finally, rosacea differs from acne is that it usually appears after certain triggers. Rosacea has several triggers, including hot water, wind, sun, spicy foods, and alcohol. While these things typically do not flare acne. Rosacea also comes with other symptoms like ocular symptoms, like dry, gritty, irritated eyes or redness in the eyes, and can also affect the nose, a condition called rhinophyma. I always recommend that everybody with a breakout on their face be seen and evaluated by a board certified dermatologist in order to receive the best and most appropriate care for their skin condition.